I am, you know, one of those people who gets anxiety, um, especially around like my birthday. It's actually really interesting because I'm going to cover these up right now real quick while we chit chat. Um, I used to dread my birthday prior to having children and settling down with my husband. Um, I dreaded my birthday because I just didn't feel like I deserved to celebrate me. Uh, I would cringe when people would wish me a happy birthday. I didn't want to celebrate me. I didn't want to sit and eat cake and blow with the candles and just celebrate another year. At the time I looked at it, it was another year wasted. Um, this was like, you know, in my early 20s, um, I just felt like I had no purpose and a lot of just crazy thoughts went through my head that I would just be better off leaving this world, my family, you know, that would be easier for them. So celebrating like my birthday was the last thing I wanted to do prior to settling down with my husband and having kids. Um, so this week, for some reason, those feelings came back. And that's the thing, I have a little bit of touching up up there too. That's the thing with like PTSD and like anxiety that some people just can't seem to understand is that we don't control when these things kick off, okay? Um, it's just something that obviously if I could have chose not to have uh, a depressing moment the other day, of course I would have chose to have a happy moment over a sad moment. No one chooses to be sad. Um, so yeah, I literally broke out into her, what, those little blotches due to the anxiety. I mean, anxiety is real and it will, it will, um, you know, manifest on your physical appearance as well. So it's definitely something like for me, um, just talking talking is huge for me when it comes to anxiety um you know i feel like if we bottle stuff in that's not helping the situation at all um then we're more liable to like flip out on the wrong person for no reason at the wrong time and i'm sure anyone who has dealt with these issues can relate so that's nicely covered up that one's a little bit there but that's okay I'm going for a very quick, simple look today. Uh, I don't got time to do like an extravagant look. I should maybe cover that up. Uh, yes, Mr. Earl, come in. Yes, you can come over. Okay. Can so, yep, I'm going for a really simple look. Uh, today, I want to do some pinks. I haven't done pink makeup in a while. So let's do it. Uh, where is my primer? You know what I'll use? Oh, here it is. I lost the cap to my primer. And it's driving me absolutely crazy. There we go. Um, but it could be worse. How am I going to put this on today? I'm just going to... There we go. Easiest way to do it. I think that's like the quickest way, in my opinion, to put eyeshadow base on. Do you agree? I think you agree. Okay, so really simple pink look. Um, I was actually going to go, you should have saw the video I just did. I was going to do like a blue and pink look. And it just wasn't, it wasn't blending right. It was just a hot mess express. And I tried. I tried to work this, this look and I just couldn't do it. So you know what? I'm like, I'm just going to go for what my mood feels like. And my mood is telling me pink, 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 pink. I love how pigmented this eyeshadow is. Like you could see it from space probably. Okay. I haven't been watching the news. It's just so much sad stuff going on. 
I'm very, what's the word, empathic. So, like, there's just so much sadness going on in the world. So many people fighting over just stupid, silly things. Well, it's not stupid, silly things. Like, people are fighting over people losing their lives and children losing their lives. But you know what? Like, I think we all can agree that we're all kind of, like, against violence, right? against any sort of people, right? And we all want to see anyone who commits an act of violence on anybody put to justice, okay? So like, you know, you gotta remember that, that a lot of the cases that people who are associated with Black Lives Matter, the reason the outrage, for those of you who aren't hip, the reason for the outrage is because justice isn't being served. It's because the people who are murdering these people of color and these children of color are not getting charged um, and arrested. So that's the problem, okay? Yes, the, anyone's death saddens me. But when I see justice not being served, that saddens me even more because we all deserve that in this country, okay? Check your constitution. So, if you're a little confused about why there is an outrage over, like, the death of George Floyd, you know, and let's, like, look at Breonna Taylor. Her murderers still haven't been arrested, and that's been damn near six months. So, you know, and this was a woman who was an EMT. She went out to save lives not take lives she's a better person than me it takes a very strong person to be an emt okay the things they see that first responders see you know but when are her murder is going to be arrested she deserves just just as anybody else would Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm blending this lighter color pink on the bottom. It's kind of like a frosty look. You see that? It's kind of nice. kind of gives it like a nice little shimmer. And that's kind of what it looks like. And this is the one I put on the top. Right there. Just the two in comparison. Um... It's something that I pretty much do. Like I like putting a darker color up here with the lighter shade in the bottom. It tends to look good. But I always feel like with makeup as well, that like we can do like whatever we want. You know, just because people say that the the base eyeshadow has to be darker than the bottom eyeshadow, you know what? Says who? Says who? Who invented that rule? <laughs> I will say one thing. Just sitting here as a mom, um, I run a small business. Having these 10 or 15 minutes just to sit here and do my makeup. Do the makeup, I should say. Um... I love it. It's like my me time. I don't get much me time. And you know what? I feel like us, anybody, you know, especially moms or dads, you know, we deserve time to ourselves. And if something as small as doing our makeup makes us happy, then do it. Like I have been focusing on personally every year I pick like a main thing to focus on, right? And this year, I really wanted to focus on keeping my life simple, keeping it simpler. Um, you know, I have always kind of been the type to kind of just be a little bit, what's the word, extra, uh, extra uh, I exaggerate, I can be very dramatic. I wanted to get rid of all that this year and just keep things a lot more simpler. And I will say this, it has helped in every area of my life. Every area of my life. Humbling ourselves as a family. 
living below our means, you know, not splurging, you know, we live in a society where it's like, spend, 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 you know what, we really have to humble ourselves and realize that, you know, you can only have so much stuff, you know, and when you declutter your home and, you know, you donate certain items that have been sitting in your home for Lord knows how long, when you declutter and reorganize, you really do feel like better, like you accomplish something huge. So just like keeping it simple for our family and just humbling ourselves has helped like emotionally unbelievably. You know, so just wanted to kind of put that out there. So I'm going to finish off this look. Do I want to do the under? I might as well. I need to get my glasses. I can barely see. Like I can see, but not like how I need to. Love my boys. I think God was like trying to remind me of what life was like before I had the boys and my husband. Like I needed to be reminded of how my life was before them. You know, and then like once I realized that every day got better every moment in that day got better like after I had my little meltdown my little anxiety attack every moment got better you know and I really just became more appreciative of what was around me you know the little things okay I'm thinking that looks good. We're just going to do uh, the mascara, maybe quick highlighter, and that's the look for the day. I would put some lipstick on, but if I go out, what's the point? No one's going to see the smile or the lipstick anyways, and that bums me out because you want to know what? I worked in retail for a long time, and sometimes I'd be sitting there. Again, this was before I had my children. I would be sitting there ringing in people's stuff and people don't even say hi to you. They just throw things in the belt. They treat you like you are just nothing, like you're a machine. But that every now and then you would get that one person who would smile at you and just say, hi, how are you? And right now I feel like so many cashiers need to just see that smile and just let, like it, it will let them know that, you know, I appreciate you, but they can't even see that right now. And that's just ridiculous to me. It's ridiculous to me. I'm not saying the mask are ridiculous. I just think the fact that we can't even smile at each other right now. Like for people to think that this mask thing isn't affecting people's psychological and emotional state, they are wrong. Not just the mask, but all the changes, sudden changes they put upon this country. So... That is the look. Let's do some quick. Let's do some uh, blue moon. No, we'll do pink heart highlighter. I love it. And there we go, y'all. If you have any questions about anything I just went over, Drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to do this hair now and hang out with my little one.